What's going on Aquarius? Welcome to your reading for the rest of 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, we're going to look at what will happen for the rest of 2021 for you, for the sign of Aquarius. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave behind the ones that do not. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that this reading can reach all the Aquarius people that it needs to. So with that being said, let's do three major shuffles and uh, pull the energy for the Aquarius people. What's going on the rest of the year? Messages for Aquarius the rest of 2021. Messages for Aquarius for the rest of 2021. Messages for Aquarius for the rest of the year 2021. Let's see what is going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, we have a jumper, folks. This is a crazy way to pull the energy. But I have my own method to my own madness, yeah. So, so, let's see what's going on. Let me lay out the cards here so that you can see all of them. All right. So, Aquarius. I like what I see here, some sort of difficult energy, but let's take a look at this top row, Aquarius. This is your overall energy for the rest of the year. The card standing out to me is this moon energy right off the bat. You may be dealing with some sort of unknown um, future. It seems like your future seems a little bit um, unstable for you, Aquarius, for the rest of the year. It's almost like you don't know um, what is around the corner. Some of you may be dealing with employment issues. Um, you have this two of pentacles right next to this moon card. It's almost like you guys don't know what to do. I'm sensing that this could have to do with the overall state of the world, right? Uh, we've really never encountered a time like this before. So a lot of you may be facing some sort of like decision you have to make. You're, you're just trying to balance like, you know, um, something here. You also have this ace of wands, which is a beautiful energy for the overall energy for the rest of the year. So I see you getting going with some sort of creativity. Honestly, for a lot of you guys, there's this feeling like you can't rely on certain things that you've always relied on. Um, so you have the 10 of swords right under the, underneath this ace of wands. I feel like for a lot of you Aquarius, there's this feeling like there's not a lot of stability like there used to be. So it's almost like you're getting going. It's like a new, a new beginning after a, a very big ending here, but it's very clouded in mystery. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of things from the subconscious coming, uh, coming up here. Um, some of you may be closing out a relationship and starting a new one here. We're going to clarify as we go along, but I, I, the, the overall feeling that I'm intuiting for you, Aquarius, is this feeling of like a lot of uncertainty, um, at least right now, that's what it appears to be. Now let's look at this middle row, which is represented by what you do not see coming for the rest of the year. What you don't see coming, you have the Ten of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So for sure, there's going to be some sort of ending, and I'm getting like a lot of you, it might just be quitting your job. Someone out there needs to hear that, Aquarius. So this Ten of Swords, for a lot of you, this could be a relationship unexpectedly coming to an end here. You might find something out with this Moon card that really makes you debate mm, back and forth. Do I want to stay with this person? Do I want to go? Because you do have this new, you have this new fire energy within you sparking out, new sexuality, new creativity coming up within you. I feel like for some of you, there's going to be an ending to a relationship here that then kind of, it's almost like you're back at square one, right? With this two of wands and the page of pentacles here. Um, there's a lot of difficulties in finance, I feel, with the two of pentacles and the page of pentacles. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to create something new to help 
stabilize yourself in this moon energy. I feel like it has to do with a lot of the big events going on in the world. You know, for what you don't see coming though, these are two positive cards, Aquarius. You have the two of wands, you have the page of pentacles. So I see that you have the world in the palm of your hands. And I feel like, as you can see, this two of wands is staring at this 10 of swords. So this two of wands is you know, only here because this ending had to happen, right? 10 to 2. So major ending has to do with the moon. You might find something out about someone you're in a relationship with. Um, this could have to do with cheating, by the way. So if you're in a partner, if you're, for some of you, this, this doesn't apply to everyone, but some of you may call your, find your partner cheating, and then you have to debate whether or not you're going to stay, and ultimately you may decide to leave, which then puts you on a new start. And I see a lot of good things in this bottom row. We're going to clarify all these cards as we go along here. Someone may be coming in and offering you something. This could be someone from your past. Now that this relationship is over for you, um, Aquarius, before the end of the year happens, what you don't see coming, someone's going to someone's gonna come in and give you an offer. This could be an offer in business. As you see, the page of pentacles is right below the two of pentacles. Um, and it's almost like, it's like once the dust settles, right, with this moon and this ten of swords, some sort of major ending into uncertainty, you find some sort of information out, Aquarius, it's going to lead you to a better spot here, okay? New business offerings, new new positivity. Now, let's move on to this bottom row here, Aquarius. This is represented by your advice from your spirit guides, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Hierophant. So there's a lot. Your, your spirit guides are really telling you you need to heal some emotional thing. I feel for a lot of you, ultimately, this is going to have to do a, with a relationship, and it's not going to be something that's easy to let go of. Once again, this Ace of Wands to the Moon, I feel like someone could be doing something. They're not telling you the full picture. And this is some sudden realization that you come to on your own unexpectedly. And that's what creates the new beginning. But it's not going to be easy. And so your spirit guides with this Ace of Cups, <clears throat> first of all, I feel like this is spirit extending spirit's hand to you saying spirit guides are with you for the rest of the year. Once you go through this hard change, whatever this could be, this could be job as well, money. They're saying, we're here, and you have new positive emotions coming in. You also have the Six of uh, Swords here. So this is definitely moving on to clearer waters, right? After this ending, your spirit guides are saying, don't linger in the energy. Because the overall energy for the whole year is like, there's, there's going to be a potential for you to kind of just say, oh, well, that's not that bad, whatever happened here, and not really tap, because the creative energy is what's sparking this newness, right? The creative energy with the Ace of Wands is the Ace of Cups. You have the Aces in the same row here. Um, so there's going to be some moving on. You might have to move with some people. This could be traveling after you find out what this major ending is. Some of you, this is just quitting your job. Others, it's a relationship. You also have this Hierophant card. I feel like there's some sort of impersonal guidance that could really help you out here. Someone who could look at your situation from an objective standpoint. Your spirit guides are also saying here, kind of take the take the method of uh, tradition. So there could be some sort of thing you have to do. For some of you, this is going to result in a divorce. So you may have to take legal action to kind of remove yourself from this situation. For others, though, this Hierophant, I feel for the rest of the year, Aquarius, is just um, taking some sort of a... a uh, some sort of healing process, right? You have the Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords, Hierophant. I feel like they're saying maybe you have to seek out a guidance counselor, right? When you're moving on to better waters, you see how the Six of Swords is moving in the direction of the Hierophant. So there's going to be someone that could help you. Maybe you need to hire a coach. Maybe you need to reach, reach out to someone who can help you here. But you do have good things coming in. So I like what I see here. It is going to be a tough time for you, uh, Aquarius, but ultimately it's going to set you up for something much better than what you're dealing with in this cloud, right? You don't deserve to be left out in the dark here. So let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to take two cards for each clarification. Let's go ahead and clarify this big moon energy. What is so in the dark here? This is the overall energy. I do sense someone could be cheating on someone here. Why is this moon card here for Aquarius for the rest of 2021? Very intense reading. <clears throat> Why is this moon card here? Last one. Why is this moon card here for Aquarius?
Okay, we have the flowering card and the integration card. Okay, so I, I, I feel like someone, I feel honestly like someone's flowering behind your back. Okay, so this may have to do with your partner. It may have to do with work where other people are being paid more than you. So someone's flowering and they're flowering due to your own ignorance here. Okay, so someone's having a grand old time. You're not aware of it. And I feel like it's going to make you really call into question your own values here. This, this, this could really go in alignment with the cheating. By the way, some of you, this may be a double standard. Like you may be doing the same thing and that's why the relationship may fall apart or the job, right? It's just like, you feel like you're, you're, you're either you're underpaid or you're not being communicated to. Okay. You also have this integration card to clarify the moon. So I feel like for a lot of you, you've been sitting back in this darkness and you haven't really been, um, you haven't been given any information and you, in your heart, you know, something's wrong. You know, something's wrong in, in this relationship, but like, or this job, but you've been lacking the fire to really find out. So this ace of wands, like creative ways to discover what's going on in this moon energy. And then really, once you find this information now, it's ultimately going to be up to you what you do with it. But I do, I feel like someone's flowering behind your back. Okay. Let me just check this and make sure that this reading is still running. Okay, we are good. So, um, you know what? Let's clarify this Ace of Wands real quick for you as well. Someone's flowering behind your back here. I don't like that. Okay, so the laziness card popped right out, as I said, clarify the Ace of Wands. So this is a movement away from laziness. This card indicates spiritual bypassing. So for some of you, you knew something was going on behind your back, and you were kind of just saying... I don't really care. I'm going to be above it all. This energy says, no, no, no. We're confronting it head on. And that head on energy, right? You have this 10 of swords. So there's going to be an unpleasant surprise here. But like I say, ultimately, you want to know. You don't want to just be postponing this awareness, right? So there's some big um, awareness that you're going to have here. So let's go ahead and move on to what you don't see coming. This is what I want to clarify this 10 of swords here. Why is this Ten of Swords here? What's ending? <clears throat> Give me more information about this for Aquarius. Remember, this is what you don't see coming, guys. Why is this Ten of Swords here for Aquarius? All right. We have the patience card. I'm going to do one more here. I feel like you were trying to be patient with someone to like either give you what you're worth or, or tell you something. They didn't do it. And so now it's done. Hold on. Two more. Why is this uh, Ten of Swords here for Aquarius? This is a, some suspicious energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, we have stress. Stress. <laughs> stress and patience okay seven seven look at that a lot of conflict energy here for you guys two sevens in a row to clarify this ten so there's a lot of conflict that is gonna culminate to a big ending for you aquarius so i feel like for you like you've been trying to be patient with someone to tell you something whether this be a boss tell you yeah other people have been making way more than you and i don't give a shit and you're just gonna stay there or someone hey i'm actually seeing someone on the side i didn't tell you this stress that's causing that this whole situation is causing you and you having patience, that's over. You're not, you're done having patience. And I do feel like something's going to be revealed to you here. So that's why it's going to be done. It's like, and for a lot of you, by the way, you have to take this information with a grain of salt. I feel like for some of you, there's a potential that this is just an intuitive thing that you know is happening in your heart. Someone's doing, someone's flowering behind your back and you may not get the actual information about you may not actually have evidence for it, but it's something that when you know something and it's not just a hunch, it's a knowing, that's when you know, you're like, okay, I'm not gonna be paid. I, I have to trust my gut. Something's going on. If they don't give me the information, if I can't find it out, then I'm still, it, it's, it doesn't change the end result. You know what's happening. And that's why this two of pentacles is here for a lot of you. Cause it's like, well, I don't have any substantial evidence to prove that this is going on, but I know it. I freaking know it. Let me make sure this is still recording. Okay, we're good. So, all right. So let's let's move on to the better news here. Let's clarify this two of wands. This is juicy though. 
Um, why is this two of wands here for Aquarius for the rest of the year here? <clears throat> New beginnings. Why is this two of wands here? Some of you, you may still be patient, but I feel like it's a shadow thing, right? Some of you may not get up and leave. Hold on. But your spirit guides are telling you to. Why is this two of wands here for Aquarius? We're actually going to do one more after this as well. Why is this two of wands again? Why is this two of wands here? Remember, this is the centerpiece to your whole reading. All right. Two of wands is clarified by control. Control. Okay, so I feel like for for a lot of you, it can it can say a bunch of different things. I feel for some of you, there's going to be a releasing of of trying to control everything, like trying to control other people. And for some of you, this is going to be sa you saying, "Let the chips fall where they may." I can't keep juggling this stuff. Um, if you try to control things, like this is you suppressing something. This is like you know you not wanting to shake up your reality so if you know someone's cheating on you or you know you're not getting paid enough you're just going to be like oh well well let's just keep making my reality look so good to other people right this two of wands is saying i'm gonna and it, it, look how he's looking in the world he's like no 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 i'm not just gonna try to f like falsely control this energy anymore i feel like it's you sinking into the reality instead of trying this this card is all all, all about dying on the inside like feeling horrible on the inside, but like then you talk to your friends and you're like, yeah, things are going so great in the relationship, even though there's the moon and cheating. Yep, it's so great. That's done. You're looking at the reality now. Okay? You're looking at the reality. For some of you, it's like you're still going to want to... For some of you, I feel like this is... You're, you know what's going on, and but because you don't have substantial evidence, you're still going to try to control it. So you're going to look at your world. For some of you, this is you looking at the world and being like, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. Like, look how perfect my reality is. But on the inside, you're freaking dying. So it's like for those, it, this is two ways that you can go about this. Um, for those of you who are going to move on and, and like let this thing end, there's a new offer coming in for you. But let's move on to the message from your spirit guides. I have to keep doing this. Okay, cool. It's still recording. So for Aquarius, there's a lot. I feel like we need to clarify all these, to be honest with you. Um, so let's clarify this, let, let's clarify this Ace of Cups first off for Aquarius people. Why are your spirit guides advising you for new love, new emotions, new beginnings, right? This is really new beginnings in love. So for those of you who have the courage to walk away, even if you don't have substantial evidence, I commend you. And I don't think it's you being, you're not paranoid. You're not paranoid. Um... the fool why is the ace of cups here for Aquarius okay we have totality and moment to moment totality and moment to moment so this is a total letting go Okay, and, and you letting go and, and saying, I'm going to totally let go of this stuff and step into the new, go on this boat, burn the bridges. Okay, um, but it's like you don't really know what the future holds. This is like the two of pentacles, right? You have the two of pentacles again. Guys, this is the same card in a different deck, Aquarius. So it's like you don't know what the future holds, but you're still going to choose the new. I'm sorry, but I have to write, I have to write down the title of this video. I'm going to write down... You're, I'm going to clarify these two in a second. You're not paranoid. Someone is cheating or being shady. Sorry. Sometimes I have to do it when the moment is hot. Okay, so let's go ahead. It seems uncertain for you, but you know that it's the right thing to you to do. Let's clarify this Six of Swords here, because this is a big one, right? This is underneath the Two of Wands, you stepping into that new. For some of you, though, it's like really encouraging you. It's like, I know you're not going to step away, but you should. Because you don't have substantial evidence. A lot of you guys aren't using your intuition enough. 
<clears throat> Why is the Six of Swords here? For Aquarius. Okay, yeah, the Six of Swords is clarified by the Transformation card. This is like a death. This is the death card, pretty much. Um, actually, no, but it's it's you're ultimately transforming something. Okay, so you're leaving something behind. For some of you, if you're not if you're not gonna have the braver, and I'm not saying this is for like for every single person watching that you have to leave this thing. You just have to stand up for yourself. But for those of you who are not gonna actually physically leave, this is an inner transformation out of laziness, really looking reality directly in the face, okay? And then seek impersonal guidance, do things by the book. If you are gonna leave, don't just burn your bridges automatically. The Hierophant says, do things the right way. Treat others as you would wanna be treated. This is all about spiritual guidance. What you put out is what you get back. Also seek out some counselor, you know, and I'm not trying to be salesy, but I do offer spiritual coaching in private sessions if you want more information about the situation. So with that being said, Aquarius, I really do, um, I wish you well. I hope that you uncover what this flowering in the moon is. Um, for some of you, simply, it's going to be having a better time out of the moon, by the way, as well. But for others, you know what's going on. I appreciate you, uh, Aquarius, and I'll talk to you on your next reading. Have a great rest of your year. Peace.